you guys this is my fifth or sixth time trying to record this video so um, is I'm recording from my phone so they keep calling me and my video just keeps coming off and also I got emotional in one of the questions so I kind of like just erased it so okay back to that subject um, I watch thrifty hauls um, do a TMI tag video which is too much in, too much info questions tag video um, and she asks anyone whoever watched this video to do one so I'm doing it and this is my first TMI tag video so I'm so happy about that so thank you girl um, so yeah um, also um, Jerilyn23 if y'all not subscribed to her, please subscribe to her. She is a fabulous, awesome person. She's giving a giveaway, and not only because of the giveaway, but we kind of got close. A couple of us have. Um, she is a sweetheart, and she's beautiful inside and out. And girl, you're glowing in your video, and you lost some weight. And I applaud you for that. Keep doing what you're doing and never let other people tell you otherwise and i love your videos the same way as thrifty hauls miss lynn which i am so happy that i met y'all as well as soapy wax world which is marisol um i love y'all guys i really fully do um i watch your videos all the time um but so for some reason today is not my fault youtube has been acting up um, it's showing I'm not subscribed to y'all, then it's showing that I am, then it's showing y'all videos don't even come, you know, it's supposed to let me know when y'all upload a video, it don't even do that. Um, it gives me other random videos, which is so weird. Um, and sometimes when I comment, I can't see my comments. Um, so, I'm sorry, that's why sometimes y'all probably see double comments, because it don't look like I comment well I can't see it anyway so I don't know YouTube is just acting retarded so yeah please comment um, below please subscribe please subscribe to all these beautiful ladies um, and forever Eve as well I'm not forgetting about her so yes um, welcome to my Martian TMI tag let's begin question number one what are you wearing I'm wearing this green mostly all my videos um, is with this and no this is not dirty um, is I have like 10 of these these are in clearance if you didn't knew in Old Navy for 97 cents they have a major clearance section with these tank tops I got 10 of these green tank tops and two of each other color so I wear these to be around the house and when it's real hot and humid and stuff um, and also I have on my zebra slipper see the green that's so pretty this is five dollars in Walmart I love anything animal print so and I also have pants yes of course um, so yeah ever been in love yes I have I've been in love twice um, the first person I ever fell in love with was with my Heavenly Father, which is God. Um, he came into a time in my life that I totally thank him for, and I love him um, for that. So he's my first hubby. My second hubby, of course, is upstairs right now. My daughter's driving him crazy. Yeah. And she is a handful guy, so um, he's upstairs with her right now. Um... And he is the love of my life and he's been the love of my life for 15 years and I don't think that's ever gonna change I love that man to death um, ever had a terrible breakup yes I have um, not as in fits fighting or you know depressing or nothing like that it was more like disrespecting um, being unfaithful being untruthful lying with in the relationship so yeah how tall are you back in my two decades two and a half decades or three decades you could say i used to be five four i used to be taller than everyone i knew 
and now I'm just like five feet. I'm a shorty. Um, my older daughter is like yay high and she's 14 and my son is like right here and he's 10. So I'm a shorty. Um, how much do you weigh? Um, my weight don't define the person that I am. Um, I am a sweet, lovable, caring, honest, Christian, spiritual woman. Um, but I'm happily to say how much I weigh because it don't offend me. Um, it don't, like, I don't look at my weight as just, oh my God, this is how much. No. Um, I used to be 235. Yes, 235. And now I'm down to 200.6. So I lost 35 pounds. And you could tell on my face. Like, literally, I have pictures to prove the before and after. And I'm still need to lose weight. So I'm supposed to be like, what, 15? I think that's too skinny. But like, yeah, 115 from what my doctor told me. But I've never been that skinny a day in my life. I've always been like 130 and up. So, I don't know. Do you have any tattoos? Yes, I do. I have three. Um, I have this one, which has a Z for my middle name. And this one, no, no gang relation or nothing. And the one in my lower back is like this big, from hip to hip, this high. Um... I got this one when I was like 13 or 14, this one when I was 15, and it was just to see how it feels. So I am getting these two lasered off. Um, the one in my back is might get be getting laser off as well, or um, do I regret it? Yes, I do, because I don't have my kids' names on me. And I guess that's what hurts me. How I got the one in my back is a quick story. Back in October 6, 2004, me and my hubby um, broke up, which was the terrible bro breakup. We broken up for eight months, and we got back together June 5th of, oh, or not June 5th, but June of 2005, which was for Father's Day. He is a drawer. He draws. So... He sketched out this tattoo with his name printed on it. And I was not even stupid. And I decided to give him, we both decided to give each other a chance. Because I messed up as much as he messed up. Let's put it that I made my faults and I admitted um, I wasn't perfect. Um, no one is. And I messed up, you know. And... Um, he wanted me to put his name on me and I did which now I totally regret because I don't even have none of my kids tattooed on me which is a shame and I feel as though I shouldn't put someone's name on me to prove to them I love them um, that's just me so that was stupid of me and I wasn't thinking so yeah, do you have any piercings? I have two. I have this one and this one. And I have... I used to have my tongue pierced. I have the scar, which looks ugly. And the bottom is closed. I had it from the age of 14 to I was 18 when I met him. Um, him and his friends asked me if I knew the definition of what a tongue pierce meant. And I said... No, because obviously I got it for fashion sense up in New York. Everyone was doing it. And I had a friend of me and her made a bet. It was either my boobies to get pierced or my tongue. I went for my tongue. So that was that. So when I found out, I just took it off. If not, I would have still had it on. Um... OTP means one true pairing for thrifty hauls. Um, she didn't know what that meant. That's either a couple or a thing that you believe are meant to be together or is a cute couple or a truthful couple. For me, um, is doves. Doves are each other's soulmates. 
um, the birds, doves, that's my opinion. What's your favorite show? Oh God, I have so many. Um, if it's seasonal, is The Walking Dead. If it's like an everyday show, um, yes, look, curly, curly, curly hair. Yes, this is my natural curls. Um, if is um, um, yeah, regular shows. Oh my God, I watch so many. I watch Teen Mom, um, Sixteen and Pregnant, Bad Girls Club, which is on. It started already. It started. Um, uh, Brazilla, Marriage Boot Camp, Couples Therapy. Um, 48 Hours, Cold Case Files, um, I almost got away with it, I didn't know I was pregnant, ID disappeared, um, the Discovery Channel, um, my husband loved the Discovery Channel, you would see him watch that all day, every day, and yeah, those are things that um, I watch, um, what's your favorite band, that's number 10, Hands down, all the way, Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park will always be my number one band. Not that rap. I mean, don't get me wrong. When I was young, I used to listen to rap and Spanish and English. Now, I don't like rap. I don't like R&B as much. I'm more into Christian music and more into soft rock, which is kind of weird. But, hey, it's whatever's float your boat. And I love club music. Um, which is I guess house club I think you could like freestyle techno type of club music y'all know what I'm talking about Little Zuzi, Natalie First True Love you know stuff like that but they're not bands they're just music um, but my favorite band is Linkin Park um, something I miss this is the part where I told y'all I got sentimental so um the person I miss the most in my life, um, which she helped raise, well, she did raise me, um, is my grandma. She died in February 16th of 2010, and her birthday was February 12th, and she was 93 years old. She was still strong. She didn't die of natural causes, which I think hurts me more than anything when I bring it up. Um, she was murdered. Um, and she never met my daughter, which kind of sucked for me. And my uncle said when she was in the hospital, she would when she was in and out of consciousness before she died she would ask for me and on my way there it started snowing then my husband's wipers start stopped working and halfway there I called my uncle to let him know I was still gonna go and he told me not to go because she passed away so I did. I did went to her viewing. I didn't went to her funeral. Um, I should have never gone to her viewing because I didn't want it that to be the last thing I remember of her. And she, she was disfigured. Um, she was beaten up real bad. Um, the person that did it is still free. They never caught him, but in the eyes of God he knows who you are um she still had the timberland sign i don't know if y'all know the tim boots those big heavy boots right in her forehead um th that that's the person i miss she never judged me she never looked down on me she never She accepted me for everything, for my wrong, for my right, for everything. She was my mom. Um, my birth parents gave me to her, and 
she was there with me through everything and I regret I um 